Oh, hi, uh... Caught me at a weird time. I can't look at you right now, but I'm about to. Are you ready for me to look? Oops, hold on. Not ready for you to look yet. Can't see my face yet. What's going on? Start soon. Come on now, you should be streaming. Oh, hi ladies. Hello. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't get my comments on the screen. That's what's happening here. It's not showing as being live on my iPad, and so you're seeing my back. Hold on. I don't know what you're seeing, actually. You're not seeing anything. It looks like it's not streaming. Okay. Try this again. Hold on, YouTube, if you're doing this. Are we streaming? <sighs> what is the deal? Okay, I know, you see the back of me. I'm working on it. We're having all kinds of, uh... Okay, oh, I know, you see the back of me. Guys, just bear with me. This show's gonna be awesome, but you have to give me a second. Because everything that went wrong, or could go wrong, did. So, jeez Louise, and it continues to. Alright, I'm freaking out. You just watch the dancers. Everything's cool. Everything's awesome. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself. All right, there's one. Hello, Kathy and Beth and Dawn. I see you there. Now, hang on. I just got to do one more thing. Boy, oh, boysles. All right. Now. On myself. Oh. All right, there's one. Hello, Kathy and Beth and Don. Hi! <laughs> well, all right, look. That was the closest I've come to freaking out on a live broadcast in a long time. It's all good. Welcome to a fully uh, dysfunctional, but functional version of the Bob Doyle Show starring me. That's right. This, If I was a cool, uh, you know, Whatever this is, this is what I'd look like, in case any of you have wondered. Okay, now, Don, you can go ahead and get those comments cycling, I think. So we've got Don, and we've got Beth, and we've got Sarah, and we've got Karen, and we've got Steve. And, and, and all of this. this. You may be thinking, wow, Bob, that looks really easy to do. I'm sure there were no technical problems whatsoever. Well, let me tell you something. Not true. Even though... I got up early, and I practiced, and I tested, and then right before, you know what happens. Everything goes wrong. It's like, oh, yeah, I didn't do this. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. But anyway, so look. Hi, Isabella and Karen. So so welcome to the Bob Doyle Show Broadcast in virtual reality. I'm using, obviously, a real-time 3D avatar. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing all of this uh, shortly. I'm just amazed that it's even slightly working. We're a little bit late. I don't know what. I hit stream and it didn't stream. Which makes me sad face. Or I could be happy face. Or I could be angry face. Why does this always happen to me? 
So I'm using a program called Mind Show, and if you see this little little blue guy over here, uh, that's part of the program. Mind Show is a virtual reality program, obviously, where you inhabit 3D characters and put yourself in scenes. You may have seen some of the promos that I've that uh, we posted over the past couple of days using characters like this, using this type of animation. And um, so I thought, well, let's see if we can do a whole show in here. And I had actually um, contacted the guys who wrote this program a while back and said, man, if you could do some sort of a spectator camera where I could go on green screen and I could do this, blah, 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 that'd be cool. And then I just checked the other day and there it was. But of course, it's not without its limitations and problems. Um, well, thank you, Don, for still loving me. Nori is in the room, and now it's just now it's just a party. Look at us. We've got 10 hardcore Bob Doyle Show fans who will stick with me through anything. Thick, thin, whatever's in between thick and thin. I don't know. Anyway, so, so I'm just going to, now I'm just going to try and settle in. Now, here's the thing about this. Because I'm doing this, guess what I can't do? can't drink coffee ah! so I tried so I had I made a coffee just a few minutes ago and I've been trying to slam it down that's no good right well that's good I need to be stuck with you Sarah and about a thousand others just like you guys I'm sure there's a thousand others just like you. Look, if there's 10 of you and a thousand of you, surely you go to like meetup groups, right? Like the you guys are like me meetup. Right, where you just uh, sit around and go, yeah, you're like me, you're like me. You probably like the same things I do. And then, of course, the topic of conversation always eventually gets to the Bob Doyle show. And then you're like, well, why are we sitting around here with this at this meetup about who, why we're all alike. We should be going to Bob Doyle Show meetup groups. Why am I just thinking of this? Of course, Bob Doyle Show meetups. A thousand Sarahs could be problematic. Well, Sarah, that's no way to think about yourself. A thousand Sarahs helping people all over the world. All right. Now, Karen says thickish. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. And why is Kathy saying no? Why is all there this suddenly all this negativity? All right. So anyway, Mind Show, like I said, is a is a program that is designed to create uh, 3D animations, 3D movies, things like that. It comes with a set of characters that they're always adding on. This is a fairly recent character, the closest to uh, a Bob Doyle persona I would take on for this kind of thing. Uh, but I'm going to show you all sorts of things. And then there's scenes and there's props. And then the idea is that you can then record. You know, you can, well, I'll show you, kind of. But basically what I'm doing right now, I could record, and then it would create video clips, and then I can edit these clips together, and that's how I've been doing the promo. See what I'm saying? Oh, between what's thick and thin. Thank you. You're right, I did. See, this is like old school Bob Doyle show, where I don't know what I'm talking about, because I'm so obsessed with, is the technology working? I can't think of a thing to say. One of the things I've realized about the Bob Doyle show and planning for it is when I, so I'll walk around, you know, because that's how you get from one place to the other is you walk. And so I'll walk around and I'll, and uh, I'll think of something and I'll, oh, that should be an idea for a Bob Doyle show. And then I write it down and I go, you know what this is, this, all these ideas I'm writing down, they're like bad, bad, hacky, uh, stand up stuff. Like a bunch of Jever notice type of things. You know, I can't tell you how many airport things, right? And I always come back from travel with, you know how on airplanes and the thing. I was like, everybody said this a thousand times. There's no reason to keep doing this. Hi, Lenny. Hey, you're watching? Are you at the, Lynn must be at the airport watching the Bob Doyle show. You missed the, the disastrous beginning. Or did you? Maybe you saw it. Actually, actually, I guess what you saw really was nothing at the given time for a few minutes, and you're thinking, oh my God, what's happened to him? Something's wrong. Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, but then there was this whole uh, seeing my back for a while. Anyway, I knew, I knew somehow that the beginning was going to be sketchy. I even told Don ahead of time. There's too much for me to do on this side. But Don is a, a to, so be a bad comedian. Well, now, of course, like I said, none of my, I'd see, normally, I'm going to, let you in on a little secret here. Normally, I'll have some kind of notes in front of me. 
you know, a little piece of paper where I've jotted stuff down. Right now, I've got nothing. What what I'm looking at right now is this blue smiley faced camera thing that's hovering right in front of my face. No notes. I will say this though, and this is random, and this is this is kind of whatever. You know when you bite your lip. You know, you're eating and you're minding your own business and then crunch, right? And and you get mad, right? There's a certain amount of anger. It's like, ah, bit my lip. Then, I don't know, 45 seconds later, same sandwich, same chip, same dip, same whatever. You bite your lip again, but not just in some random place. It's always the exact same place. Am I right? Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. But how angry do you get? How angry? There's, there's, two, there's a couple of things that really make me super mad. One, biting my lip in the same place over and over and over again. And I've also shared with you when I'm like doing dishes with headphones on and I've got the wires and the wires get caught in a, in a cabinet or something and then yank, you know, the headphones right out of your ear. How many people does that happen to? One, two, three, four, seven, 20. Good awesome morning to you, Jeffrey Miller. But on my smiling for Jeffrey face. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm not, you know, there's there's just so much. I'm, I really was thinking, well, look, I'm just going to get in here. There'll be that little awkwardness while I'm dealing with the technology. And then I'm just going to settle right in to being Bob Doyle. No problem. But here's the thing. No coffee. Limited Bob Doyle. Uh, you know, look, I've had a cup. I've had a cup and a half. To be fair, did have a cup and a half, but it's that second half of the second cup that didn't quite get in me. Look, Lynn, with you head top of the screen, I can't help this. Of course, I know how to frame a shot, but there's a limitation in the program. I even actually wrote them yesterday and I said, look, I'm doing this stuff live. I got to be able to tilt the camera down. I got to be able to position it correctly because the framing's all wrong. And Lynn Rose is going to yell at me during a live stream and tell me how to direct my show. And I'm already having a hard enough time. And they wrote back and they said, uh, who's Lynn Rose and what are you talking about? So, you know, sometimes I just, sometimes I rant without thinking about it. <laughs> uh, Anyway, so look, who would like, now let's see, I don't, you know what I don't have, I thought that I would have is on my, I'm monitoring, here's a, here's a little behind the scenes, the way I'm doing this right, is I've got the screen of my phone hovering in here in this 3D space of mine, I'm actually surrounded by a big green environment, it's totally green, you will never see it, you'll never see the green, but uh but I'm surrounded by this 3D environment, and then floating over here is your questions. Questions. You're not asking questions. See, this is this is called not being 100% present at all. I'd say I am 20% present with you right now, maybe, because the rest of my presence is all over this and going, what is happening? And what if when I go to the next thing, is that going to even work? And who knows? All right. So yeah, the bad stand-up, so sorry, I'm pulling up my sleeves, that's what this is. Of course, it doesn't look like that to you. I'm living in the real world with real virtual, can we, how about if we get into the program and I show it to you a little bit? Because clearly, I'm not going to be able to, to riff and be awesome. So um, why don't we just get into it? Now here's, now this is, this, what this involves, what you're going to see now, is I'm going to jump out of my character and you're going to see this little dude with a balloon head and a and a beanie, I hope. And then when that happens, I will, uh, this character here will stop moving, and then you'll see me, and then I'll kind of walk you around this thing. So actually, Dawn, for right now, don't switch. Uh, don't switch off the comments thing yet. I, I gave her a few instructions ahead of time, <laughs> just so you know. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump out of this character. And now what you should see probably is, hi, this is me. I can't see me at all. So I'm just having to trust. And this is my little palette of stuff, right? So this is uh, where I would choose my characters, my environment, my whole thing. So if I wanted to change this guy, well, if I could delete him, first of all, by uh, clicking delete. Gone. Now it's just me. I really hope. Yeah, I see me, yellow balloon head, right? So now let's say I want somebody else in here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. This guy, skeleton dude. Move him right here. 
and then inhabit him by hopping in. Where are you? Camera, camera. There you are. Hey, it's me, Skeleton Guy, hosting the Bob Doyle Show, just like I've always wanted to. It's always been a dream of mine. I always felt like, uh, you know, I had it in me. Cause, uh, but I never had the guts to do it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you with me or against me or what are you? Are you on my side? Are you rooting for me? Look, it's an open mic. Actually, hold on a second. Let me jump out real quick. Let's get, because I believe we have a microphone. Where are you? There we go. I believe we have a microphone prop. There we go. Put this right here. <clears throat> See, turn it a little. And then jump in the skeleton. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. How about that L.A. traffic, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Here, ever bite your lip? Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Everybody bites their lip. That's why it's relatable. <laughs> I'm the funniest skeleton ever. I really miss my calling. Because I don't have any ears and I can't hear it when the calling happened. <laughs> oh, is this on? Hello, test one, two, one, two. I don't know. All right. I know. I'm looking at this now, Lynn. And I'm going, I want better headroom too, but I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. But I do love uh, hanging on to the mic. I don't know if that's looking. Looks like I'm just kind of, who knows. All right. All right. Let me pop out of here. Now, Don, you can turn comments off. And uh, I'm going to actually get out of here, go to home. And then what you should see is my sort of the, the main hub. Of, you're looking over my shoulder, right? Hello. Hi. 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 I wish the balloon guy talked when you... I, I actually wrote that too. I said, look, I'm demonstrating this thing. The balloon guy should talk when I talk too. All right. So anyway, we're going to go into... I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to create a new scene. And this time I'm going to choose an environment, okay? And we've got several to choose from, and they're always adding more. Let's, uh, welcome. We're in the newsroom environment. Now, let me show you uh, around a little bit. The nice thing is, is wherever I go, the camera will follow. So I can move all around here and show you the various, uh, various sections of this huge newsroom set. And I can put characters in any one of them. So we're going to... If I had lips, seven months. Okay, I'm just looking at your comments. Actually, I'm staring straight at them right now. So let's let's have a little fun here, shall we? Now over here we've got this little set. Okay, so let's put a character in this set. We'll drag him right behind. Whoops, that was too much behind. Let's just put him here. Let me move around. The nice thing is all the. Oh, come on. I don't know what this is looking like. Let's move this camera over a little. All right, I'll inhabit this dude. Oh, nope, nope. Okay. So now I'm I'm here. I could be, hello, it's, uh, hello. That's a, what's a good voice for this guy? What's a good voice? Hello. That's a terrible voice. Hello, why are you making me talk like this? Hey. I'm not, I don't talk like that. I have a really good voice. I do voiceover. Why are you pretending that I talk like this? Ah, this is totally unfair. Ah, this is totally unfair. Yeah, totally unfair. And now let's go to uh, this woman over here. We'll put her behind the news desk. You can't see because you're looking at me, but you're going to see it in a second because I'm going to travel over there. This is who I'm talking about, right? So now I'm going to move her. Come on. Uh... Boy, it's being a little sketchy here. So now pop into her. Where are you? Where are you? Boy, you're far away. Hold on. I need to uh, move the camera a little closer, I think. Actually, what I want to do is, as an, I was thinking about this as an experiment. Like, if I could do a live thing where this guy, this balloon guy, is like the host, right? Where, where are you anyway? Okay. The balloon guy is the host. And then I could say, oh, let's just try it. Let's just try it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with two very special... I'm, I'm host. My name is Mr. Balloon. Welcome to the show. I'm Mr. Balloon, and I can't smile or talk, so I should limit my talking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, even though the camera's going to be very far away from my guests, we're going to bring them on. It's a debate. It's a debate between 
this dude named Phil, who you're going to meet in a second, and this lady named Phyllis, who you're also going to meet in a second. They have differing opinions on things, and so we're going to find out uh, exactly what their differing opinions are. Let's start with Phil. Well, hello. Why are you making me talk like that? That's not my... Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, hello, my name is Phil, and I'm too far away from the camera. Can you even see me? I have opinions about things, and I just wanted you to know about it. All right, that's great, Phil. So uh, you're here, and you've got opinions about things. Let's talk to Phyllis. Oh, hi. I I'm Phyllis, and I also have opinions about things, and I'd like to share them with you right now. Okay, that's really great, Phyllis. But first, let's start with Phil, because he's got that smooth voiceover voice that we all like and are very impressed with. So um, let's start with Phil. Okay, you're not... Oh, geez, I just bumped into something because, you see, I'm in virtual reality and I have no idea where I am in my room. So I'm just going to keep on... You're too far away for me to express any kind of opinion, even though my voice is probably really loud and it doesn't make any sense. That's great, Phil. I'm not sure that opinion meant much to people. Let's, let's find out what Phyllis has to say. Oh, hi, it's me again. I still have the same opinion, but it doesn't really seem to make sense for me to express it until he expresses his because you said he was supposed to go first. So let's get back over there to Phil and get him to express an opinion, shall we? I think that's a great idea. Uh, Phil, do you have any opinions that you'd like to express? Yes, uh, my opinion is that this voice that you keep changing is terrible, and I don't want it anymore. Well, uh, I think we know that opinion, Phil. We'd like to hear something uh, fresh from you. Yeah, Phil, I, whoops, sorry. And yeah, Phil, I think I'd like to hear something fresh from you, anything at all, about anything except your voice. Is that what we're here to talk about? Oh, no, I pushed the wrong button, and now this is going to try to record, so now I have to figure out how to stop it. Stop. There we go. All right, where are you? Let's check in on your comments, shall we, which are all the way over here. So I'm going to move the camera so I can actually... Hi. All right, balloon head. Pretty cool. Okay, this is freaking cool. Great work. Fun. Boarding now. Bye, Lynn. Boy, she cut that one close. Boy, the camera's... Now I'm, now I'm able to see on the delay. Look how cute balloon head is. I wish he could talk. All right. Why don't we change scene, shall we? Let's get out of here. Hello, it's me again. We're back here in Creationville. And what I was saying was, I have no idea what freaking time it is. I don't know when this show's supposed to stop. So it'll never stop! Alright, let's move on to... Uh, let's move on to a new uh, environment. The problem with this is it's very difficult. Do you see this green one here? That's what I do. If I click green, see... Now I should be probably back in the studio. Although, yeah, I guess it's just me. Is that right? Uh, so anyway, but let's not do that because that's not what we're here to do. What are we here to do? Is a where are we here? Nick snacks. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're in the North Pole. So while there is no Santa, there is. this dude and uh, let's just get in here where are you well hello welcome to Christmasville a terrible name for a terrible place you think it's nice because it's called Christmasville but there's nothing around here but trouble first of all the taxes here they're out of hand I don't know what these people are thinking also the snow here it's fake 100% fake you know what it is it's and it's not even hypoallergenic I sneeze with this stuff issue like that all day that's what I do <sighs> Somehow I got to be the mayor of Christmasville. The mayor of Christmasville. There was not even an election, my friends. They just said, hey, you, you with the snow. And I'm like, oh, me with the snow? Yeah, you with the snow. You're mayor. And I'm like, I don't want to be mayor of Christmas, but there's allergic snow here. And and then, and, and, first of all, people are grumpy around here. <sighs> I know I sound like I'm complaining. I didn't always used to be this way. I used to be a happy snowman. I had possibilities. We're now the mayor of Christmasville. Christmasville. Let's take a look around here. Sure, there's a Christmassy light thing in the in the window over there. But uh, you know, and there's I don't know. It looks like Christmas, but look, I, I trust me. All right, I'm gonna get out of here now. Let's let's take a let's take a. Where are you? There you are. Let's take another look around Christmasville, and which is easy to do by just me moving around, and the camera will follow me. Hello, camera. Let's come over here. Come on, camera. Where are you? Oh, you're wait. I guess I need to move you. 
Come on. There we go. And we'll move all the way over by this window. See, isn't this nice? Let's move you a little bit closer. Meow, 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 I guess. You know, they said, come to Christmasville. You'll love it. You're a kitten. Everybody loves kittens at Christmas. And by the way, everybody talks the same here. We all have sort of the basic same accent. You'd think... You'd think maybe uh, Christmasville, we'd have some sort of, you know, really cute voice and really sound Christmas. But no, we all sound like this. We all sound like we just walked off a subway somewhere and we're late for something. Oh, my God. Oh, it's 7.55. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, guys, we, we got to wrap this up. I, I don't have time. Christmasville makes me sneeze. Maybe you've heard that already. There's a rumor going around. <sighs> you know who starts these rumors? Come here. Come here. I want to tell you who starts. Will you come here? You're not going to come here? All right, fine. I start these rumors. I start these rumors because I'm hoping to get out of this place. I want to close this place down. You can't see them, but there's rats everywhere. They hide when there's cameras. I don't know why. I don't even know how they know they're cameras. They must be smart rats. <sighs> rats in Christmasville. What are you talking about? That's what I said to management. I said, hey, you know the mayor? Have you met the mayor? Useless useless this guy he didn't even want his job so i asked him hey mayor uh, uh what about the rats and he's like hey, I'm, I'm being made of snow here and that's his answer to everything i made of snow what do you want from me and he talks just like that crazy okay cut look you gotta put some more emotion into it you're making me crazy here all right sorry you, i didn't Wait, I don't even, I don't see even, even I talk like that in Christmasville. We got to get that at Christmasville. It's just a bad place to be. All right, let's go back to the studio because it sounds like it's about time to wrap this up. Even though I know I was a little bit late getting start. All right, look, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to, a little bit longer because I want to show you one more thing. Let's start one more scene. I'll show you some of the props, although I'm not sure I can pick up the props in here. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. We'll go to the Old West for this last one where people will talk like this and not like they walk off the subway. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. We'll get this one, and where's the sheriff dude? We'll get two of them in here. No, wait a minute. Where are you? Oh, here he is. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to hop in here. Where is it? Hi, I'm having problems with my brother, the sheriff. He thinks he knows everything about everything, and I tell him he doesn't know everything about everything. What do you think? Well, I think that's a. I think it's a very interesting uh, uh, position that you have there, but I think we we should let your brother. Uh, say a few words. Absolutely. I'll never get to say a word, any few words. She, my whole life, my whole life, and she, she just lets me do that. She doesn't even care. Is this, is this true? Do you actually not care when he does that? I care. Where, where are you? I care a lot. I wish you wouldn't do it. I do it to him and, and he just takes it too. All right. This is getting silly. What I wanted to do was get some props in here. Where are you again? I don't know why I keep turning around. So let's look at a brain, right? You can't see it. Let's see if I can pick it up, though, if I get in the sheriff. Oh, there we go. Uh, brain, I believe you lost this. <laughs> see what I did there? I insulted her by saying, by suggesting that she lost her brain somehow. Here, I believe you lost this. Well, without the brain, I guess she can't function. That's the way life works. Okay, out of here. We're going to go back to the green so that I can be in the studio. And Don, if you want to turn on comments again, I guess you can. I just have to remember what to do here. Where are you? Hi. Here we go, green. And we'll uh, go back to dude here. So start the show the same way I started it. Looking in the wrong direction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
children of all ages. I hope that somehow you had fun with this, even though it felt like, like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this and go, did I just do that? Did that actually just happen? And then I'm going to tentatively watch it back and hope that God, that somehow a show happened. <laughs> um, I don't actually have a good way I, to, to play the music out and all that, even though I probably could have arranged this with Donna at a time. She's actually controlling the show from where she is, hundreds of miles away. Ladies and gentlemen, the technology is crazy. That's why you come to the Bob Doyle Show, just in case you forgot. It's certainly not for entertainment. It's about watching someone who thinks they know what to do with technology, try to demonstrate the technology, and, oh, look at that, my shirt's see-through. I can't handle that. Sorry, I, I can't. That, that's just this. This is no, 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 no. He's got a green shirt. He got a greenish blue shirt. So it's this guy instead. You go away. You're not going to close the show. Oh wait, the other guy didn't didn't happen. Here we go. I love this little guy. Where where are you? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm just going to go now because I'm sad and a star. I am a singing star. I hope my career goes far. I'm just taking advantage of the screen time. <laughs> See, when I, when I agreed to do this appearance on the Bob Doyle Show, he said to me, okay, but no singing. And I said, sure, no problem. And you know what? I lied. <laughs> All right, Don, just fade to black, I guess. I'm going to assume that you're going to do it in three, two, one, and then the show's going to be over, and I'm going to be safe. And okay, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to wave, and then you fade to black if you haven't already. And uh, I guess I'm just going to watch the feed to make sure that I fade to black and then I'll stop talking and then I'll stop the stream and uh, and the show will be over. Bye. Bye. I'm waiting to see black. I don't know how long it's going to take because I don't know how long the delay is but I see people sending hearts and stuff like that and I really appreciate all of that and just waiting for it to go to black. Go to black. I know you don't want it to because... Okay. I see it's black now. I'm going to stop.